Hello, dear friends. May God bless you all. And may the Holy Spirit, the Spirit who guides the children of God, guide you as well, lead you, and reveal His Son to all of you. This is our desire, and I believe that this is also the will of God. God wants to reveal Himself to everyone, everyone. Jesus, when He died on the cross, He died for everyone, the good people, the evil people. He died for the Jews. He died for the Arabs. He died for the evangelicals, the Catholics, the Muslims, for the spiritists. He died for those who practice witchcraft, and so on. He died for everyone, 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 with no exception. However, who accepts this? Who accepts the fact that He has given Himself, that He paid, He has paid with His own life, with His own blood, that He has surrendered Himself to remove the sin from people. Who will accept Him as their Lord and Savior, as first in their life, as first before mother, father, family, husband, wife, children, grandchildren, house, cars, money, success, and so on, profession. He has to be first in our lives. If He is not first, then He is not part of our lives. And that's why He gave His life. He gave His life for your life, for my life. So, who is the one who decides to surrender, to give themselves, to give themselves to Him? Who is the one who decides, who, or who makes the person decide to follow Jesus or not? It's the person themselves. Only the person themselves. Because, just think with me, if you had two children, you have children, when you brought them up and you had them, you educated them equally, isn't it? You gave both of your children, the best that you could. However, as the years went on, one chose to follow good and the other one chose to follow evil. And who did that? Who made one follow good and the other one follow evil? It was their heart the desires of their own hearts. Jesus said like this, but those things which proceed out of the mouth comes from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart, out of the heart, proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. Everything that we harvest of evil in this life, it's due to the inclination of our heart. The heart is the one that makes us reap what is evil. Why? Because the heart is the center of of our feelings, our desires, of our will. It is the center of everything in our lives. God gave man a heart. Then you could say, 
But Bishop, if the heart is what makes us sin, why did God give us such heart? But the heart God gave us was perfect. Adam and Eve were perfect. They were the ones who paid attention to the voice of the devil, of his lies and deception. And today we have this world that is such a chaos. But they chose it. They knew the truth. They knew the truth. Adam and Eve knew the truth. Look, do not touch that tree. Because the day that you touch it, the day that you eat of its fruit, you're going to die. And that's what is written. Every soul that sings shall die. The wages of sin is death. So, we've seen this in practice. Everyone knows that. The wars, the evil that we see, perversity in the world, deception, the hell that is being established in this world. Why? Because the world developed with sin. Since the moment that Adam and Eve were expelled from the Garden of Innocence. So, you, what you see is the consequence of that. But God, at first, gave them knowledge. Don't do it, because the day that you do it, you are going to die. There wasn't death. You who like animals, we like animals, don't we? We all like them. But the animal didn't have to die in order to feed human beings. Yes or no? They didn't have to die. Death didn't exist in the Garden of Eden. As long as men obeyed the voice of God, there was no death. There was no sicknesses. There was no hunger. There was no injustices. No murder. There wasn't fights, there wasn't wars, any, no evil, no evil. Everything was perfect. Because everything God does is perfect. Now, when men gave ears to their desires, because it wasn't the devil who took the fruit and put it in Eve's mouth. No, the devil suggested the devil advised, the devil used words of lies, of deception, and Eve, due to her lust, as well as Adam, they both took part of something that was forbidden, and they knew that it was forbidden. They knew it was forbidden, but they ate it. They ate of that fruit. And there was so much fruit available, so many good things there, wonderful things. Why did they have to choose exactly the one that was forbidden? But this is how human beings are. The desires of the heart. The heart is inclined towards evil. But when the heart is inclined towards evil, listening and paying attention, be attentive to the voice of God, then God chooses that person. Because that person wants to do God's will, then God reveals Himself to them. They thirst to know the truth. They thirst to know righteousness. What is not going to confront God's will, is not going to insult Him. So that person who chooses what is right according to the Word of God, then this person is chosen by God to Himself. Isn't it nice? You see, for example, David was a man after God's own heart. God chose him, God found him, because the text says that God found. I have found David, 
son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, that will do my will. So, in the heart are the desires of each one of us. In my heart, that, that is my desires. But if I submit my will to God's will, then my heart will submit to my mind, to my spirit, to my reasoning, which on the other hand will submit to the Spirit of God. However, if my heart rejects the will of God, then I will reap the fruits of such disobedience and rejection. I will reap the fruits of rebelliousness, which is what's been happening. So if you have two children and one follows your good teachings and the other one follows the teachings of the neighbor, of a colleague or people from work or school or university, then the one that follows your advices, which are the best ones, this one will have a different life from the one that follows the desires of their own heart. And that's what happens with human beings. The Bible says that above all things, we have to guard our hearts. Above all things, all things. So, your heart is the center of your will and desires. So, you have to be careful with it. Unfortunately, people pay more attention to the body, but the body will be left here, but not the heart. And when we speak of the heart, when the Bible says heart, it is speaking about the soul. It is speaking of the soul, and the soul doesn't die. The soul does not die. So, when the person pays attention to their soul and they start to obey the Word of God in their mind, then their soul submit to the Word of God and then this person is blessed. They are chosen by God. But when the person rejects the advices of the Eternal Father, then what can he do? So everything that you've seen of unrighteous, of evil and cruel in the world, it's all due to the human heart. And that's why Jesus said that out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, out of the heart proceeds murders, hatred, out of the heart proceeds adulteries, unfaithfulness, out of the heart proceed fornications. This is it. Sexual relationships before marriage. Out of the heart proceed as well thefts. Out of the heart proceed as well false witnesses fake news. Out of the heart proceed blasphemies, words that go against God, rebellion, and so on. Out of the heart. The heart is sensitive, very sensitive. It's the soul. But God gave His heart, which is His soul, His soul, for the soul of each and every one of us. Those who accept it, those who accept Jesus, will elect Him as their solicitor, their intercessor. David had a heart after God's own heart, even though he committed a very bad mistake, a, a terrible sin, a cruel sin, still David found repentance. He found repentance. And God saved him and kept him in the lineage of his son Jesus. Dear friends, evaluate your life. Consider your heart. 
because it's your heart that makes you make wrong decisions. It's the heart of each of us that makes us incline towards either good or evil. It depends on the heart. So pray, ask God for wisdom so you can control your heart and He will give this wisdom so that you can guard your heart so that it will also be chosen, anointed and guarded and protected by God, okay? May God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.